you plan on going to Spice Mask, this is the video for you because I'm about to put y'all on to the T. So this video is a complete Spice Mask guide, everything you need to know, tips included, and I know this is going to be a banger. Wow, on YouTube, it's your girl, K Selena, and welcome back to my channel. Let me know right now, do you plan on going to Spice Mask? Let me know right now, or are you even thinking about it? If you think about it, why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you booking your flight? Let me know right now, because you cannot say K Selena did not put you on. I know you're going to be in Grenada, like, how how you know all this information? YouTube, make sure you show my YouTube, be like, K Selena, she did tell me everything about Grenada before I got here, so now I know how to maneuver. That's me. So if you like these types of videos, think they're helpful, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want more Grenada content, because uh, it's coming, subscribe to my channel. We have countries to hop, so don't best believe this is just one out of many. So let's get into the video. So this first part of the video is going to be a little Q&A called Before Arrival Preparation. And I'm just going to let you guys know everything you need to know before you touch down. When should you buy your ticket for Spice Mass? You need to buy that ticket right after the previous Spice Mass. Literally, Spice Mass is in August. Not going to lie, October, November, perfect time to get your ticket in advance. For example, right after Spice Mass 2023, that November, October 2023, I'm buying my ticket for 2024. If you get what I'm saying, I'm just letting you guys know right now, get your tickets before May, before May of that year of that Spice Mask. So if the Spice Mask is 2024, you need to get that ticket by uh, March 2024, literally, because after March, those tickets are going to skyrocket to damn near 1K and you don't want to do that. You got other things to pay for y'all. So make sure I get your tickets in advance. Next thing you might want to know is where are you staying? I'm not too sure about how hotels work down there. I know that there are hotels. They might be a little costly because of the time of year. But what I 100% recommend is B&Bs. Grenada is a very, it's a very tourist friendly island. It's not like Jamaica where you have to stay at a resort. You have to stay at a hotel or you're going to be scared. You're going to get shot in the street. It's not giving that. It's giving everyone kind of just roams around, does what they do, you know? So everyone's. It's like home for everybody. I would suggest you get your B&B as early as possible. Same thing right after Spice Mask, but just as early as possible because I waited around January to get mine. And when I tell you I was so limited, everything was booked out. People, you have to remember, people are booking around the world. People are coming from all Caribbean islands and they're coming from the islands surrounding Grenada because, you know, Grenada has multiple islands attached to it. So people are all flying in from home, from Trinidad, from everywhere. And it's costume time. So, you know, everyone is a big deal. Carnival is a big deal. So you need to move quickly because people need places to stay and it's going to move quick. I'm going to say for sure is that you should stay in St. George's. St. George's is where everything is going on. Like everything is pretty much going on. That's like like that's just where everything is so i suggest if you're a tourist stay there it's easy commute that's where just everything's going on so st george's when is spice mass spice mass is the two first weeks in august but the events are leading all the way from damn near april may around may grenada is pumping grenada is getting ready for spice mass by july the fets are coming in. The fets are flying in. Not gonna lie, I go from July. But I know a lot of y'all can't take up a lot of time at work and stuff. So if that's the case, if you, if you really have to stay for like five days, you can't stay for long, then you gotta be there for that carnival Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, that little weekend right there. But if you wanna enjoy yourself, the first two weeks of August is where everything's going down. Everything's going down. When to buy your costumes. So Bands of Grenada released their costumes late March, April. So depending on the band is depending how fast you get your costume you can wait around april may if you want to but if your band's a popping band and their costumes are fired everyone can see that too they're gonna sell out quickly you don't have time to like really wait but if the finances is low and you want to wait a little bit till may to get things together you can too but be careful because as i said if it's a large band with amazing costumes they will go by fast your band will let you know when they drop on instagram follow your band watch the notifications they'll say when's the launching when the band drops when to pre-register when to register they're gonna let you know so stay on top of it if you really want that costume bad the prices are gonna be not gonna lie depends on how grand you want it back lines usually like five to seven hundred us if you want like grand feathers it's giving like 901k if you want to play monday and tuesday pretty mass which is what i'm referring to with the feathers and the beautiful looks and everything like that these are the bands to choose from i put them in order from like most relevant 
most popular, most expensive, most talked about to least talked about and more affordable. So it's pretty much in that order, but definitely give each band their credit because every year they be popping. But that's, this is definitely in order from like most luxurious, most expensive to more affordable, but still beautiful. What to pack? This question is really hard to answer just out of nowhere. So I'm going to answer it throughout the video because there's so much that you need to know to pack. So stay tuned to the end because that's where a lot of it will be spoken about. And let's get into the next section. Part two, the main locations you need to know. You didn't know St. George's is the main spot. I think it's called the capital. I don't know if they use the word capital there, but I think it's like basically the capital of Grenada. That's just when you land in the airport, that's where you are, St. George's. That's the south of the island. That's where a lot's going on. That's where carnival's mainly going on. The first place is the National Stadium. The National Stadium is where? In St. George's. It's a big stadium with bleachers and then there's an open field in the middle. Field is where everybody kind of jumps up and act wild. Depending on the event, you just act wild, go crazy. And the stands is for more the bougie people or people who just don't want to get dirty, don't want to jump up. You're wearing your sandals. You want to just look cute and enjoy the concert. The stands where you'll be. But if you want to jump up and get drunk and act well and do your thing, that's what the bottom is for. If it rains, there's no protection. So, like, yeah. But it doesn't turn that muddy when it rains because it's a lot of grass. So you'll kind of be okay. But if you're going to be in the grass area and it's going to rain, wear sneakers. The second spot is Moonlight City. Moonlight City is one of the only places that is not in St. George's. That is in St. Andrews, which is higher up on the island. Not gonna lie, it's about an hour drive. So make sure you have your transportation if you're gonna go to events over there. But you need to go to events over there because Moonlight City be lit. Like Moonlight City give more of a, a wild vibe. National Stadium is more like, oh, okay. Like it's giving concert. Okay, yes, more behavior. Moonlight City is given. I can't stay away from oil. Serious, it's given madness. But we can post myself. You see, I'm getting hot. Oh god. The Moonlight City is smaller than the National Stadium, but it has the same open field bleachers type of vibe. So you know, if you want to see the bleachers, that's if you want to behave yourself and not get too too dirty. And then when you're down on the floor, best belief, you cannot stay away from oil. Okay. One thing I'm gonna say is be prepared for mud because if it rains. The bottom is not grass like the stadium. The bottom is dirt. So if it rains, you're in dirt, meaning you're in mud. So just be prepared for that. Like if it rains, if you don't wear sneakers, you're done. This section is my favorite part of the video. The events. Like, obviously I'm getting hot talking about these events because I'm about to be there. I'm about to be in Grenada right with y'all. So I'm just getting real excited. Hold on. Whew. The events I'm mentioning in this next section are the biggest events that you really need to know. Of course, there's going to be smaller things you would know if you know people. But these events are like, you should not miss it. The whole island's going to be there. Like, these are like, you cannot miss type of events. And all these events, you can get your tickets at gotofet.com, which is a website. It's like Eventbrite. If you're from America, you know what Eventbrite is. It's the same thing in Grenada. It's called GoToFet. First event is Juve in July. Juve in July is the kickoff to Spice Mass. Yeah, there's other kickoffs before that, but this is the original, official, official kickoff because it's right before the first two weeks. It's called Juve in July because it's the last Saturday in July going into August. It's a Juve, if that wasn't clear. It is at Moonlight City. So I already told you how dutty Moonlight City gets. Artists come to perform. It's mainly like Grenadian artists, but you know, every year is different. They switch it up. So, but it's a juve, artists perform, you act up, you act bad. It's just, it's just like, I don't know anyone who really misses juve in July. Like, like I literally fly in early just to make it to juve in July. As I said, last Saturday of the month. Second is pre-day. Oh, pre-day was such beautiful vibes. Pre-day is an event hosted by the Grenadian artist Tall Pre. And it's basically a whole bunch of artists from around the Caribbean come and it's like a huge concert. And it's just great vibes. I can't even explain it. It's just great vibes. Not gonna lie, pre day is one of my favorite events to go to especially if you love soca music like it's not all jump up jump up it's just about the vibe like your hands just in the air wait hands in the air like <laughs> that's really what it gives like it's so nice 
It is the Wednesday before Carnival and it's at the National Stadium. So the number one thing you need to know about pre-date is you have to wear all black. One more time. You have to wear all black. That's just the vibe. And I think that's what makes the vibe so different from the other events. Like just to watch the whole sea of people all wearing the same color. It's like a sense of unity. I just loved it and it's really nice. So I wore a nice little black bodysuit or dress. And that's me in the stands. But if I was down there, most people on the floor wore like black t-shirts and black shorts and black sneakers, you know? So that's just a little vibe if you want to know what to wear. Third event, Soka Monarch. Soka Monarch is on Carnival Friday. And when I tell you vibes, okay, vibes. If you didn't know how most Soka Monarchs are, there's a groovy portion and a power Soka portion. The groovy is more smooth, calm, nice music. You know, just want to chip along, rock with your man. That's, so that's groovy. And then Soka is jump up go crazy road march type of music like you're really gonna hit a tunes for power most people come later just to make it to the power but i think groovy is beautiful too but usually the elders love the groovy more but i love both i have an old soul soka monarch is all grenadian artists so you definitely get to know all the tunes before going on the road if you don't know all the tunes before going on the road you missed out on too much events serious <laughs> now we're getting closer to carnival time the fourth event is panorama y'all if you did not know i do play steel pan if you didn't know my family's from trinidad and grenada so trinidad is the land of pan island of pan you know i learned from there and i'm just taking it to my other half and i just love pan so the fact that i play it, it means so much to me if you close your eyes and feel the music you're gonna love pan too a lot of people just don't hear the beauty in it but it's so beautiful panorama is a competition between all the steel bands in grenada it is carnival saturday meaning it's saturday before carnival it's at the national stadium so that's how you know it's a big event and this does not go too late so if there are other events the same day i suggest to go to panorama first because the other events will go into the next morning panorama normally doesn't Event number five is Pure White. Pure White is also Carnival Saturday, hence why I said I will go to Panorama first and then go to Pure White because Pure White is going to go into the morning. Pure White is at Moonlight City and guess what color you have to wear? You gotta wear white. You gotta wear white. It's like a concert slash fest. It starts off like a concert, artists come and perform and then it gets into like fet vibes. Most of the time it's like they have a variety of artists, but I know a lot of dancehall artists usually come to that one because mainly all the events, I don't see a lot of dancehall artists. My favorite, Pure White, Skang was there. Intellectual Murder at the shot. Pop, pop, pop. Yo, what I you? I'm going to add the footage, y'all. I'm going to add the footage. <laughs> remember i told you moonlight city get crazy so you're gonna see how crazy moonlight city get if you want to act bad yeah you can't stay away from oil mm -hmm. six event which is the next day if you guys been peeping i've been kind of going down the whole week because every day is something literally so now we're on carnival sunday which is you know kind of a sunday next we have biggest whites biggest white is in the national stadium guess what color you gotta wear guess what color you gotta wear you got it white this is the second all white event this event is more of a concert feel as i said national stadium is not like giving moonlight city is acting bad national stadium is like acting semi-bad so it's more of a concert field i know 2022 kes performed he was a big artist that came um and other you know look local and foreign artists me personally i do not go to biggest white i have not been there yet just because one pure white be draining me out <laughs> two this is the monday before i mean this is the sunday before monday carnival i need some type of rest i've been fitting all day day midday night evening afternoon 
uh overnight i'll be fattened from morning like 24 hours straight so i need a rest day and i feel like before i look pretty for pretty mass i need like, a day to rest so sunday is that that's my day like where i just don't need to be up till the next morning like i just need a break i literally had bags under my eyes my first spice mask because the sleep was not <laughs> was not getting no sleep i needed to sleep on that sunday so that's why i don't go but tell me how it goes guys like literally comment below if you think biggest white is like your type of your type of vibe carnival sunday's done carnival begins right after biggest white and that's another reason why i'd be missing out on biggest white because i gotta make it to juve and you know us girls we take long to shower redo our hair i just don't be having time biggest white is just so inconvenient for my time because i need to get ready for the other days but after biggest white it goes into the next morning which is basically monday morning which is what juve juve is monday during dawn about 3 4 a.m and it ends around 9 but people still lime you know chill out so now we have monday at dawn right first of all we just had biggest white biggest white is going from 10 p.m all the way into like 4 a.m the next morning from that you're going straight to juve people be going in their white clothes straight to juve i swear but i can't do that so now yeah juve juve was from four to basically nine you're running home and you're coming right back from monday mass monday pretty mass is basically when you wear like the band that you sign up for they're gonna have a monday wear with your costume so you're gonna wear basically it's like a bodysuit mokini is that how you pronounce it like a mokini bodysuit um type of vibe it's like more of a simple outfit there's no feathers there's no bedazzles it's just like a bathing suit type of vibe and monday is just such good vibes you usually meet up with your band in the morning maybe around 10 11 so that's what i'm saying it's back to back like after juve you go home shower monday mass no joke and you play for monday is usually the band you play with on tuesday it's usually like a package deal so the thing i loved about monday was the freedom to free up the place on tuesday you're gonna see the difference but tuesday everyone has big feathers so it's like you can't act as bad act as crazy monday i was climbing truck monday was yo uh lucky i was not on my head top because i'm a classy gal you know i'm a lady of dignity but yeah monday is the time to act bad because you're free and you're naked you're just free you got nothing holding you back on top of that all bands have a moving um bar it's like a truck that's like a bar so you have unlimited drinks if you didn't know now you know all most bands come with a uh, liquor truck and as i said i'm tripping down the road my cup done next cup done next like you just keep going unlimited don't get too drunk y'all but just know it's real loose up free up vibes so don't be sleeping on monday <laughs> right after that is monday night mass <laughs> you thought you were sleeping because no you're not sleeping next is monday night mass so as i said i run home shower quick pass quick pass quick pass monday night monday night is less pressure monday night is just a t-shirt like it was just like something really calm you could just wear some shorts and they give you a shirt to match your band it starts from like 7 p.m and it can end to the next morning if that's what you want to do if you want to be outside all night that's up to you but me them bags not me it's so beautiful because everyone basically has lights like you know the lights that like, you get at the circus it's like everyone has lights and it's just beautiful to see at the night like oh uh, i love it i think that makes renee so unique i don't know where else they do that but i love monday night mass and i didn't get a chance to participate last year but this year for sure for sure <laughs> you can get your costume with your tuesday band as i said they might have a, a monday night package on top of that monday day package but if not here are some bands that you can choose from for monday night mass tuesday mass is the big mass the parade the feathers the grand crossing the stage looking beautiful feathers like this is the real big mass i mean you usually meet around your band either 10 11 12 a.m p.m yeah like around 11 a.m you usually meet up with your band most people are always late so you can meet your band on the road if you want whatever you want but usually they have like your band will tell you what to do what they're offering it's a little bit more constricting with the feathers because some people have such big feathers that they're like slapping you across the face but it's a beautiful experience um yeah it's just a beautiful experience and they had the liquor trucks so keep getting drunk it's also last lap i didn't get a chance to get to that i need to sleep i need to sleep but 
that's like the final 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 events after tuesday mass is pretty much when things die down now here are the final tips so as i said before all the events that i pretty much mentioned start at night and when they start at night they end up they end in the morning so most of them will start around 9 10 11 p.m but they're ending about 4 5 6 a.m literally like i remember pure white ended it yeah it ended at 6 a.m and i said all the way that's a long time to be out but you don't feel that tired and drained like you're jumping up this whole time you're having a blast you're enjoying yourself so it seems like a whole work shift but it's not that bad you can leave if you want to but it's kind of whack if you're leaving around 6 a.m and you were there since damn near 10 p.m that's a long time so i would say one walk with your shades because the sun comes completely up you see it go from pitch black to sunrise to sun like just sun and i love having my shades it gives like okay baddie like always prepared and touch up on your makeup guys i don't know if you guys like have a beat face but you know it's really hot down there so have your little touch up pads in case because in all them hours with your face melting second tip i said this already you're not getting any sleep if you thought you was getting sleep i don't know they say trinidad you don't get sleep but I haven't really been to Trinidad Carnival, but low-key, I think Grenada's kind of worse. I don't know, but I haven't been to Trinidad to know, like, the carnival. But you're really not getting no type of sleep. Like, you think it's a joke. As I said, so this is how it goes. It goes from the event starting at basically 9, 10. You're leaving the event at damn near 4, 5 a.m. Everyone's still liming after the event. So, like, the events ended at 6. Everyone's still liming outside the event for, like, a whole hour or two. Because people be selling stuff, playing music, you know, mingling, making friends, networking. You know, boom. Now it's like 7 a.m. Next thing you know, you have a whole boat ride. Boat rides, night cruises. I mean, cruises are in the daytime. So usually they'd be boarding around 11, 12, right? To, to start leaving at 1 p.m. So if you're still liming outside at 7 a.m., you need to run home, change, look like a baddie. Sometimes you got to switch wigs because if your wig got paint in it, you need to clean out your wig. And I always walk in multiple wigs, but shh, don't talk, don't talk. But yeah, you need to transform into a new clean baddie because you were just dirty as heck. Now you need to be a clean baddie. It seems like you have a lot of time. You have no time. You need to make that boat. You need to be on that boat by 12. So realistically, you need to be leaving by 11. So you just got to be, you just got to be on it. So now the boat ride going, you're, you're getting off the boat. Who know what time? 4, 5, 6 p.m. By that time, the next event starts at, the next night event starts at 9. So it's 6 p.m. I got three hours to kind of get ready. And yeah, normally I'm late. And that amount of time, I usually squeeze in a two-hour nap, literally. Like, that's the most I get in a whole day is, like, a two-hour nap right before the night event. Next thing you know, I'm right back at the night event. And I'm not even squeezing in the little limes and the little get-togethers. I'm just putting in the big events. Everything is so back-to-back. -back. So, bags. I never in my life even really had bags like that until I had Grenada Carnival. Tip number three. During Carnival, which is August, it's actually Grenada's rainy season. I know that sounds so crazy but it is so you need to be prepared for rain you need an umbrella another thing you don't know when the rain will start or stop you don't have no real warning sometimes you get a little warning if it's cloudy all day but sometimes it's shining beautiful and it would just whoosh, i don't know where just whoosh. i'd be like what the heck like these are one of the things i told you that you need to prepare for and pack not only an umbrella but you need to walk with multiple pair of sneakers now not gonna lie, some people try to be like, oh, two sneakers is good for me. One to two sneakers is good. I don't know. That's just not for me. Like, you could try that, but I'm talking to the high maintenance baddies out there. That's just not enough because let me say how it go. You're going to multiple juves. So even if you're going to three juves, right? You're going to three juves. The, the events are so back to back. Like, I didn't have time to be washing my sneakers. I tried though. So I, even if you do wash your sneakers, you can wash them and let them air dry. But it, also that too. By the time those air dry, the next event, the next Jewish, the next day, like when does that have time? So now I'm going outside with wet sneakers. It's like little things like that. It's just like just walk with at least two pairs of sneakers for Juve. Don't mind getting at least two pairs of sneakers dirty. I think that's reasonable because walk with one pair of Juve sneakers is like, come on. And me personally, I don't want to walk in an event with disgustingly dirty shoes because I mean, some people don't mind it, especially men. But for me, like, I don't know, it might not be perfectly clean, but it can't be that dirty. And as I said, it was rainy season. So my foot was submerged in mud. Submerged in mud at Moonlight City. So my whole shoe was completely brown. Like, it was red sneakers and they were completely brown. You could not see the color. And it caked up. I'm not wearing that to another place. Like, come on. You gotta wash that. Come on, come on, come on. On top of that, now you need sneakers for all the, the street events as in Monday Mass and Tuesday Mass. 
And so in total, I had four <laughs> I had four sneakers, and that's just for jumping up. Two for Juve, and the other two was for a cute look. Tip number five is to leave space in your suitcase for when you're returning back home. You're gonna want to bring something back. You're gonna want to bring something back, whether it's liquor, some type of food, something you can't get from your place or even your costume, literally like my feathers. I wanted to bring my feathers back home. I didn't want to leave them. I didn't want to throw them away. I wanted to keep them. So I made sure I had enough space in my suitcase to just, you know, hold some things. Don't pack it to the brim because you're going to want to bring things back. One of the last tips I have is transportation. One form of transportation that you can definitely use is an app called Hail Up. That is basically Uber. If everyone who doesn't live in the Caribbean knows what Uber is, it's like a taxi service on your phone. That's Hail Up. It's the Uber of Grenada. Second thing you can do is order a taxi. Um, they're a little expensive, not gonna lie, because they know how to, you know, they know how to get you. Third option is to get a rental car, which I kind of don't understand how that works. You're driving on the opposite side of the road if you're from the states, so it's like it's not easy. And I don't want the accident rates going up. So if you don't know how to drive, I don't suggest you getting a rental. It's a lot. Things are very different in Grenada. It's very hilly. It's very steep. It's not like driving in the States at all. I want to thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this entire video. If you got through to the end, I appreciate you. And that means you're ready to fetch. That means you're ready to ball. I'm telling you, everything I told you is to prepare you. You're you're set. You know where to go. You know how to book. You know you know where to stay. You know where to fetch. You know where to buy your tickets. You know where to get your costumes. I really just try to really put y'all onto everything. I pretty much put y'all onto damn near everything I wish I knew about the damn rain. I wish they told me about the damn rain. No one told me nothing. I had to figure it out for myself. So I really hope that me pouring this information helps anyone out there. If you want to see more footage that I did not get a chance to include in this video, go to my Instagram at k.selina with two A's. And my highlights have so much of the events of Spice Mask. And it's only going to go up from here. My YouTube included has so much... Uh, Grenada content and it's going to be so much more carnivals from around the Caribbean so stay tuned subscribe if you haven't give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoyed and last but not least if we're going to Spice Mask 2023 four five six seven or eight I'm gonna be there so just hit me up like you have my Instagram if you want to meet up if you want to I don't know I'm open to making friends so if anyone wants to see me I'll be there so thank you so much for watching this video and I love you guys I'll see you in the next